start the day off with this beautiful boring road. We're just passing by Birch Hill, Saskatchewan. Sort of stuck behind a big giant grain bin. I know it's a little far away in the in the video. Is this a passing lane? I guess I should be in the right lane. That thing up there has been hogging the road for the past half hour, but it's okay, I guess. There's nothing he can do about it. Well, he's slowing down now. Look at that thing, eh? That's the bottom of a grain bin. I know these wipers are kind of annoying. Yeah. Poor guy's got to like slow down and thread the needle between every bridge and every railway. It's surprising how many wide loads are on this little road. You know, I've already passed like three of them. The last three were nice enough they let me pass, but... Alright, so we are parked here on the side of the shoulder for no apparent reason. Look at the size of that thing. You know, we're all supposed to like get off the road because there's a construction or something coming through. Huh, that's as far as you can get off the road. You're still on the road, buddy. You're too wide. Must be embarrassing being so big. <laughs> oh. Must be a hassle being so big. I never pulled a load that wide before. I pulled wide loads before, but not that wide. That's insane. Never, I've never pulled a load wide enough that I need pilot cars. I mean, I've mostly driven van trailers, like these box trailers that I'm pulling. But uh, I pulled flat decks a little while while I was doing local. I did some, uh, what, 13 foot loads? 13 and a half foot loads? That's just how wide they are. But I don't know what's going on here. So I started vlogging a little late today. It's already, what, 12 o'clock here. That means it's one o'clock at home. Uh, and I'm going to Lloydminster now. I already delivered in Melford, Saskatchewan. I'm going to Lloydminster, Alberta, which is at the border of Saskatchewan and Alberta, right? And I got two deliveries to make there. Uh, just a couple of pallets going to each one, so it's pretty easy. I'll probably deliver those first thing tomorrow morning, and then we're headed to Cold Lake. And I'm probably, probably going to deliver that tomorrow. Here comes something. And this guy has a sign on his bumper that says, House Moving. It's going to be very interesting to see how he gets past this wide load. I'm very curious. Are you guys curious? They blocked the whole road for this wide load. But what do you do when you meet another wide load? Stay tuned to find out. All right, here they come. I'm very curious how they're gonna get past this little guy, this guy here. Very, very curious. Anybody order a house? It's on the way. It's on the way, here it comes. What? Where's he going? That thing is huge. So apparently he's getting out of the way to let us pass. Ah, there's a bee in my truck. Dang it, why is there a bee in my truck? Where'd you go? You're not allowed in here. Jeez, he like landed right on my eyeball. It's an angry bee. Oh well, if I get stung, I guess at least he dies. You guys seeing this? Again, I know I've said this countless times before, but why don't you just build it where you want it? That's that's just what I'm curious about. What is going on here? Now why are they going? I want to go. Hi. Maybe they'll let me past here. I'll see if I can get them on the radio. Any of you uh, wide load drivers here got your radios on? Anybody at all? Anybody at all got your radios on? Anyone who has their radio on know what channel they would be on? Apparently they don't want to talk to me. They don't want to talk to me. They don't like Trucker Josh. Join the club. <laughs> There's a couple of people who don't like me. Okay, I'm gonna go now. I hope they're all gonna let me past. 
please. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Saskatchewan, ladies and gentlemen, where anything goes, anything can happen. You can be just minding your own business, driving down the highway in a house and a grain bin. Suddenly block the road. All right, so we're past Saskatoon, headed west on Highway 16. In this truck, somewhere. I'd probably find it a lot easier if I didn't have these shades on, right? So we're going to hunt this fly down. Diesel, you're wearing your ear like that. It's always the same one, too. You like that? Is that how all the kids at school are doing it? That's what you tell me. So we just like powered through two videos. Uh, we just edited two videos. I realized that, uh, which one was it? MLD 22? I think it was 22. It was really short. Sorry about that, guys. Was that yesterday? That was yesterday. I just edited that. It's like eight, nine minutes. Sorry, guys. Sometimes there's uh, just how it happens, right? I don't know if today's will be any longer, really. I try to keep them like 15 to 20 minutes or so. The time that uh, it would usually take to get through a regular TV show without commercials, right? Right, Diesel? You gonna catch that fly for me, man? It's funny, because as soon as you go hunting for it, it's gone. Okay, Diesel, let's go for a walk, and then I need to shower, because I stink like a stinky trucker. This is our leash, because we've left Diesel's leash at home. You know what this is, man? Oh, I would think we've been using it for the leash, man. But... Yeah, come on, man. I'm going to clean this truck up. Oh, there's the fly! There's the fly! Sorry, Diesel. You're going to have to wait. Where'd it go? Wait, i got to hold you with this hand. Where is it? Where is it? You see it, man? Of course it's gone now. 
Maybe if I leave the windows open, it'll just fly out. Or maybe it'll invite all its buddies in, and that could go well. Hey, Diesel. Well, come on, let's hook up your leash here, man. Put on our cool dude shades. Yeah. Let's, oh, let's, let's go for a walk. I remember. This is exactly where I was for the fireworks for Canada Day, July 1st, last year, 2013. Because I remember watching the fireworks right behind those townhouses there, and the mosquitoes were eating me alive. And Diesel wouldn't sit still. Fireworks were making them go nuts. Yeah, they're right there. Good thing there's no mosquitoes here anymore. How do you like this leash, Diesel? Here, can you sit for a bit? I want to show them how stretchy it is. <laughs> it's a stretchy leash. <laughs> Guys, we don't have his leash, so I'm just using like a, a bungee. That <laughs> yeah, works. Whatever. It's a leash. I don't remember this fence being here. This is kind of a nice little fenced in area. Is this like a dog run? Mm, it is now. Come on, Diesel, you want to run? Hey, 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 hold up. Hold up, come here. Let me take this little hook off you. All right, go, go frolic. Go have fun, man. I don't care. Go. Come on, Diesel. Go have fun. I really don't know what he's doing. He's doing what Diesel does. He goes, finds the longest grass, and then just walks back and forth. And back and forth. And back and forth. And back and forth. I don't know. It's just a Diesel thing to do. He loves grass. He just loves grass. I feel for sorry. I feel sorry for him in winter. Because there's no grass, obviously. And he doesn't like the snow as much. Which I don't blame him, who does, but anyways, we're just going to finish up here. I'm going to go take a shower, go into the restaurant, get something to eat, and unloading here, two deliveries here. Hey, Diesel. Hey, man. Unloading two deliveries here uh, tomorrow, and we go to Cold Lake, Alberta, unload one there, and then we're done. We're empty. We got to reload in Meadow Lake, I believe, Saskatchewan. That's taking us home, and then we move. And then we move. That's gonna be an exciting day. Good boy. All the mosquitoes are coming out here. Good boy, man. See, you're good, man. I can trust you. Yeah. He's never let me down. At least not recently. He's a good boy. Us in our bungee strap and this broken gate. A lot of good uh, offense does if you break it down. It doesn't do very good then. Doesn't help nothing. You know, I don't notice a lot of triaxles like this in the States. You know what I'm saying? In Canada, they're very popular. You can carry more weight on them, right? I don't see them in the States at all. Jesus, look both ways. Good boy, man. Good boy. Makes a good guide dog. See, most trailers in the States only have two axles, like this. This is called tandem. Watch if I got it wrong. That'd be embarrassing. Tandem. That's what you see mostly. Or split axle. But split axle in Manitoba is illegal. You can't have split axle. You can't come into Manitoba with that. I don't know why. Because we're weird. So this is a Husky Rewards card. Same thing as a Pilot Rewards card. Except this one says Professional Driver on it. And it makes me feel a little more special because of that. But this is what gets me free showers at Pilot. Every 50 gallons that you fuel... How much is that in liters again? Oh shoot, it was 150 liters? Whatever, a certain amount, you get a free shower, which is pretty much every time you fuel up. So we get a free shower every day. I never pay for showers. You get a free shower every day. But if you're in Canada and you're at Husky, the Husky card does the same thing. It gets you free showers, but it's a little different. You see the free showers on the Pilot Rewards card expire. What is it, seven days? Correct me if I'm wrong, drivers. Seven days? And that's annoying because you go home, like you fuel up, you get a couple of showers on there, you go home, there's a mosquito in here, two of them, excuse me, oh, while well, I kill them. One down, two down, oh, 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 oh! That's right, you are dead, now I gotta, now I gotta clean my window. The pilot card, you get points plus free showers. The husky card, you get points, and you use those points for showers, but those points never expire. See, I haven't filled up on this card in like two months. And I still have points on there for a free shower. So I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna eat some dinner. I'm gonna have a free shower. I've already edited the videos. And we're just gonna enjoy the rest of this evening. There's a lot 
of time left yet. Because I got here super early, right? I got here pretty much just after they closed, so they wouldn't unload me. So I gotta wait until tomorrow morning for them to unload me. And then we'll be on our way. So this is the shower. It's actually very nice. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Watch this. Is it an automatic one? No, it's not. It shows right there. There you go. in Lloydminster. Wait for it. This is how you know when the day is over. Silence. You guys, I had to put a shirt on for this. I was already all in bed there, getting ready for bed anyways. I was fiddling around on the computer here and hanging out with Diesel, watching YouTube and my boxers. TMI? Oh, sorry to put that image in your head. Uh, yeah, I had to put a shirt on to say goodnight to you guys. I figured you'd like that, unless if you wanted me without a shirt on. In which case, I think you're watching the wrong vlog. So guys, this is the end of the day. Thank you for watching today. Uh, since vlogger fair I've been trying to get back into the swing of things and it's not really working because I know after this trip I'm gonna be moving so my whole head and everything's just sort of like woo out there just like that so videos will be getting back to normal after the move is over and I can get back into the groove right I've sort of just been dealing with a lot of stuff all at once right now so uh, anyways if you guys are wondering some of you are all like you seem different, Chucka Josh. You seem quieter. Yeah, I know. I'm just out of my mind. Trying to get all the things worked out. You know, all the things that you do when you move. You got to change your services over. In my case, I'm moving out into the middle of nowhere. Actually, the way I, I've been describing to people, especially at Vlogger Fair, where I'm moving to is you drive and you drive and you drive until you are in the middle of nowhere. Once you've reached that point, Go another six hours. Go until you feel you're about to drive off the edge of the earth. All right? Make a right. My house is right on the corner. <laughs> so my whole point of that was getting services there is a little more difficult. I've got to put a huge tower and antenna on top of my house. That'll get me a cell signal in my house. I've got to put another huge tower on the other side of my house that'll get me uh, wireless internet, which is picking up from a tower nearby. Uh, got to get that all set up. In the meantime, I've got to get a landline put in because I won't have a cell phone for a little while there in my house, which is totally fine. And getting moved in, getting the U-Haul rented, you know, getting all my stuff in there, getting all the paperwork signed with the lawyers, with the banks, making sure everything's perfect, ready to go. And then the actual physical moving stuff in so I've had a lot of my mind recently and I know you guys all understand that you've all been very understanding I have a great audience and I do appreciate every single one of you so guys if you watch this far hit the thumbs up button for me because I'm going through a lot of change in my life right now with the big move give me a thumbs up because you're excited to see the new house like me I'm excited to see it if you're not excited to see it that's okay I'm gonna show it to you anyway so get ready I'll talk to you tomorrow at 4 a.m. Central Time, just like every other day. I'll see you then. Don't forget, there's links in my description box. Click the Show More button. A lot of fun stuff, including a lot of past videos, all the way up to a year ago. Find out what we were doing a year ago. We weren't moving a year ago, I'll tell you that much. See you tomorrow.